What's up everyone? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're here with an awesome update. This one's gonna be a bit of a surprise for you all because we have a brand new feature coming to Overwatch and one that's really exciting to us. So the feature is called the Workshop and the Workshop is coming to the game browser. Now I know there's immediately a ton of questions about what is the Workshop. The Workshop is a scripting mode that will allow you to make custom game modes within the custom game browser, but also allow you to do really cool things like, for example, you could even prototype your own Overwatch hero using this system. So I'll give you a little bit of, of history about how we came up with this idea. We have two amazing programmers, one by the name of Dan and one by the name of Keith, and we gave them some free time to work on whatever they wanted, and these two programmers were really familiar with working with our scripting system that we use to make the game, and they said, wow, it would be super cool if we gave the players some of the power that we have as programmers and as game developers to make whatever they could come up with, wherever their imaginations would take them. So Keith and Dan put a custom layer of interface and a custom scripting system on top of the one that we use to make the game so that all of you on both PC and console can start creating your own game modes. So the system is really powerful and I have to warn you up front, this is more of what I would call a power user feature. The people that I think this will speak to most immediately are people with some experience with other scripting engines that are available publicly on the internet or people with programming backgrounds. Really anybody who understands the logic of game making and how game events are sort of chained together will have an easier time creating things. Now, Keith and Dan have done a really good job of making the feature as accessible to everyone as possible. And we also plan on putting a special forum up on the Blizzard website that allows you to interact with us and ask us some questions on how to use it. But you, you might be wondering like examples of some of the things that you can make. Um, and we're gonna put some examples into the custom game browser so that way you can open up modes that we've already made and see exactly how they were made and start tweaking them yourselves and sort of adjusting different variables to have different outcomes. So uh, one, one mode that's, that's uh, really fun and we look forward to seeing you, know, you kind of tweak and do your own thing with, we call the molten floor. And in this mode, anytime a character is on the ground, they catch on fire. So you can imagine how fun a game mode could be with characters like Farah and Lucio who have the ability to stay off the ground. Um, you could make something really interesting and special there. We, we see a lot of you trying to create modes like hide and seek in, in the game browser. And now you can make much more powerful versions of hide and seek. And then we have, we have a game mode that I just think is awesome and we'll probably include in the arcade at some point called Mirror Deathmatch. And Mirror Deathmatch, I think, is really fun. And, and what that does is it's free-for-all deathmatch, but every character, every, every player in the map plays the same character for one minute. So for one minute, we're all McCree. Then it switches over, and next thing you know, we're all Hanzo, and then it switches over, and we're all Ash. So it's a much more balanced version of uh, free-for-all deathmatch. Something that I've read uh, on the forums and in social media from all of you is that you love mystery heroes, but some of you would like to have a version that you call balanced mystery heroes. And you've talked about, you know, what if mystery heroes had a certain number of tanks and a certain number of supports, so at any time the two teams were relatively balanced, even though that there was random heroes happening. Well, with the workshop, you could create that exact mode now. And you can decide, do you want one tank or two tanks or three tanks or you know one support, two support? It's, it's really up to you. And it's very easy once you set up the mode to change some of those variables. Now, for those of you who are familiar with game logic and scripting or familiar with programming, you'll know that as you're working on creating something custom like this, you often need to go through and find out why it's working or not working just the way you intended. And uh, programmers in the audience will, will understand what I'm talking about when I say you need a debugger, something to help you find any issues that you've created in, in your script. 
Well, luckily the workshop is coming with what we call Workshop Inspector, which is a custom debugger that will allow you to run your game mode and it will report back to you why certain things are happening, or sometimes it's even more important to know why aren't they happening. You know, you expect a certain thing to happen and it's not. Um, so we think that will be uh, really cool too and really helpful for you. One of my biggest hopes is I, I know this is a power user feature and there's some technical knowledge needed to use it, but my hopes is that some of you have never gotten to play around with, with creating game modes and creating game logic or maybe prototyping a hero. This can be the first time that you can open up one of the existing scripts that we have, take a look at it in the workshop and start to learn how we made it and maybe you'll realize that you too could be a game developer someday and you can make really cool stuff. So we're hoping that this opens up a whole new wide array of game modes that the community is gonna create and that there'll be some really fun stuff out there for all of you. Now, I, I also need to put this in the right context. This isn't a map editor. You won't be able to create custom geometry or import art into the game that doesn't currently exist. It mainly allows you to control the game logic behind game modes and what's happening with different heroes. But trust me, it's ex extremely powerful and we expect you and are very excited for all of you to do great things. So we hope you enjoy it. All of the work that you create on the PTR is going to be able to be copied over using a, a share function that we're adding. And the share function is really cool because um, previously if you had a really good rule set in custom game, it wasn't trivial to share that. Um, now you'll be able to generate a code um, and put that code in, whether it's on PC or console, and it works on, on both of those, and create this uh, custom game uh, all over again that you've either gotten from somebody else or created yourself. So we're extremely excited to see what you all do with this. We hope it opens up a whole new world of Overwatch to you all, and we hope you love and enjoy the workshop. Thank you. Mm -hmm.